Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. In the lesson I give on Mermaid, I want to talk about exercise 2. That's what I'll be doing here. So with Mermaid, you can make graphs, for example, like this one. Um, and in lesson 2, or in exercise 2, we're going to make a flow chart. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the exercise uh, while I talk a bit, and I'll show you what I got and how it goes. So the question is, what do you associate with the word graph? Okay, so I have some ideas about that. Go to mermaid.live, sure, I click on that, so it's on that tab. Click on sample diagrams, then click flow. Click on sample diagrams, then click flow. Alrighty, can I close this thing? Yeah. Multiply the flow chart so that the word graphs is at the center. Yeah, right, so that doesn't apply too much. I'm going to put it here. Graphs. If needed, visit the documentation of flow charge on the on the edges. Describe relation between the concepts. Well, I can, I think I can 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 get get this out. So when I think about graphs, or there's already thing, I think about um, I think about images. Um, it's a type of a type of images. Maybe the other way around. And then so this is called an A. It goes to B. Let's call this graphs. Simply graphs. Can I do that? Yeah. This is like the text. I can remove that. I guess. Yeah. And then I can do graphs. Um, so graphs, they uh, they're different types. Um, let's call it C. And in round brackets, different types. I don't know where is my C graphs. Is it all right? So this is C. C already has let me think. Let's remove. That. Let's remove this. All this nonsense. I I know enough now. So graphs have different types. All right. And this bracket is apparently the, the type of text. So we have round brackets. Sure, I can work with that. And then from C, I, ca I can make this like image. I can make this into. Let's call this types. Doesn't work, yeah. And then I make types. There are different types, such as a flow chart, such as a mind map. Um, some need data from outside, and some need data from just a text type here. So um, types um, need data types that need data or so it doesn't work must be one word so let's put this between here and just a d or something yeah good um, let's use this like da type types data can i do that types data types no data so type that need no data and the mind map is a type of no data, so I can just replace like this flowchart too. Yeah. So now we have graphs that have different types, such as types need data. So a type that does need data, type need data, type that needs data, such as a scatter plot, scatter, scatter plot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's put a uh, scatter plot. So scatter plot is an x y plot. Round braces there, scatter space plot. Yep. So I think this is a this is a good first attempt to or f a start to make a mind map or a flowchart in this case about graphs. There, there's no um there there's no interconnections that uh, yet. So uh, like it's still a tree like type. Um, let's just make uh, another link just to, to to show how this works. For example, an image could be a scatter plot. There. Yeah. So now I've drawn this line from images to scatter plot, but of course all types of of of, of all types of graphs are images. Like mind map is an image. B something like this it gets less pretty now 
uh, and also this goes to mind map twice let's make this to flow chart yeah I don't think this is pretty enough to do it I, w I think I would remove images I also like this. let's remove the, the B I've had I've had it with that B but then still I would remove images and, and replace it by something else I don't think it's it's very useful um, but graphs can be made by programming languages or oh, let's, let's use the word data graphs um, this sh the gra the graphs show something show data but they can also show other things uh, they use programming language, they're created by programming language, so... Well, alright, I've showed you the, the, the idea about how to make flowcharts. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I could visit the documentation if I wanted, I haven't done that. Let's take a look if there's something there. Uh, so I'm not, used to not allowed to use the word AND. Uh, a note, alright, so that's just this. This is like the code I could put in and get a node with an ID, so a concept or or a vertex is also called a node. You can put text, all right? So that's why you, you can also use this block bracket. Let's try, let's try that out. So here we have different types. So so we're, we're working here. Let's put this into block brackets. There we go. Now it's like a square. But sure. Uh, we can use Unicode text, whatever that is. Can do right. We can do fancy things. There are directions. Well, sure. I'm not. Yeah. There also, there are a lot of things I can do. I'm not going to do that. Trapezoid. Text in circle. A link with an arrowhead. Or that's what I've already done. I guess you can remove the thing then too. It's an error. But three by dash just means that there's no error. Can I put like both sides? Yeah. Works. Both sides works. Right, this doesn't work apparently. That the arrow needs to go to the right or both ways, but it cannot go to the left. It can go to the left. Types to graphs. Types. Yeah, but it doesn't show it doesn't show the arrow head. All right, so. Yeah, all right. So apparently, I can make the the arrow longer. Oh my God! Right, sure. Hey. Yeah. All right. I've uh, messed around with this enough. What can you express in a mermaid flowchart? So I feel you can express simple text, you can make them also combined, you can make complex relationship. What can you net not express in a mermaid flowchart? Well that's like for example the the placement. I cannot say I want this node to be at the top or whatever. I we I don't know yet how to do this. Um we can put colors in and shapes in but maybe we can't put all texts in maybe I don't know like like for example if I want to say um, like a quote for example if I want to quote a thing that's not possible maybe a single quote single quote works a single quote works hashtags work the but um, yeah for example these uh, square braces don't work round brackets don't work maybe backslash round bracket I don't know maybe backslash backslash round bracket maybe two round bra so you can't express everything I don't think you can put in images in here but maybe that's also not the point of this um, you can link everything together we've seen that a bit yeah so it shows you uh, see so you can make a proper graph with this but you cannot necessarily make it super pretty. Let's take a look what my answers were. Um, you can create a complex structure of vertices, nodes and concepts in any way. Um, but one cannot determine where the node will go up. Alright, so this is another picture I make. You see that it's rather complex. Graphs are images that convey information, maybe self-contained or need data. Yeah, so that's exercise two. I've done exercise two of my lesson on mermaid and I'm going to wish you a very good day. Bye.